there, Amy here from Knit Collage, and I am thrilled to be back with another little making vlog for you. So these are episodes I do, um, it's been every month, but I'm hoping to change to every two weeks. So coming to you every two weeks, either on a Wednesday or a Thursday, I'm gonna see how that goes. And I just show you what I've made and what I'm making. And for those of you that follow my audio podcast, that's really about um, other creative small business owners and just creative people, their stories, their interests, all the things. This is where I geek out about yarn and my obsessive knitting habit, which just um, brings me so much joy and it's really what fills my heart every single day. I absolutely love it. So I want to dive in. I don't have as much completed as I did in the last episode, but I want to dive into first my finished objects and my whips. And then I want to talk about some of the new yarns coming for fall because that's going to involve what I am knitting right now and projects I plan to knit. So I'm going to dive in first with, you know, what? before I do that, please note I have... <laughs> Can you see these? These are fake tattoos. <laughs> you may be wondering if I got a tattoo since uh, since last time. No, these are my kids' tattoos. My son has 17 right now on him. <laughs> Someone gave us those. Um, all right, so I wanted to talk about this sweater first. This is the Shelly Summer Top. I made mine very cropped. You can probably see my W peeking out here. These pants are pretty low, um, but most of the pants I wear it with are high-waisted, and I absolutely love this. This is by Nancy Ricci. She is on Instagram getting pearly with it, and that is her blog as well. So this is the Shelly Summer Top. I did the crop version in the second size, which I believe is um, finished measurement of 40 inch bust. So I'm up like a 37 inch bust. So it's, it's a little bit loose, but not too much. Um, so originally Vanessa, my coworker, told me it worked with one skein of yarn. And as I was knitting it, it's knit in pieces, front and back, not in the round. I realized that I was going to need more than that and that she had just knit hers with a giant skein and not realized that um, most skeins, you know, don't come with that, that yardage. So what I decided to do, <laughs> I have one yarn for the front, which I really like. You can see this yarn is actually, it's amazing. I love these colors. And this is Primrose Yarn. DK called Marcas in color, whatever the weather. I really, really love this color. Um, she's an indie dyer, so hard to come by, I think. Um, but I really love it. And I used one skein here. And then this is the back. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully. <laughs> so I striped. I striped. And I used DKs that I had from my stash. I striped in whatever was left here and I just created a stripe. Now there's no shaping front or back. So if I wanted, I could wear this with this side in front, which is kind of fun. So I'm really happy with the way it came out and it was a really easy knit, which was just fun. I think I knit it over Memorial Day weekend in one weekend, um, super, super easy. And I, I just love it. Um, it's a little see-through, so you have to think about what to wear under it. I have these like long sports bras that I do yoga in and I always wear my somewhat see-through tops with them and they work out really well. Um, these are from Outdoor Voices, so these are the ones I like. Okay, so the next thing I knit is this daisy pillow, which I think is one of my favorite things I've ever knit, potentially. <laughs> so this is the Daisy Pillow. We just released this pattern and a free video class on how to knit it at Knit Collage. So I did mine using a mini skein kit, which is um, basically it's a kit where you get five different mini skeins and you get to try out all these different yarns of ours in one, which is really fun if you've never worked with our yarns before. So Hopefully you can see all these different yarns. I kept the yarn the same for the center and then did stripes for the petals. Um, so if you're thinking about this pattern, if you're interested in it, I encourage you to take that course. I'll link to it or I'll add the link in the description here. I teach, it's a short mini video series where you can learn how to knit this from start to finish. It has a, a couple tricky parts, a circular cast on, magic loop, um, a crochet edge to seam, which is very satisfying. 
This pattern is by Julie Robinson. She collaborates with us a ton. She's a fantastic designer. She's um, just really gets our aesthetic. So I knit this in about a week too. It was really easy. The back side for me is solid. So you could absolutely go the solid route. Um, that is how we have it photographed on our site. It's totally up to you. I know this is very young and girly. So a lot of people are thinking of gifting it, but I think um, it also works for adults that are just into flowers like myself. <laughs> so I absolutely love this. It will work with all of our yarns except two. So all every single yarn except the super fat ones, Wanderlust and Pixie Dust. Don't use those yarns. Otherwise, it's going to work. It's just, I love this pattern. So really nice sometimes to knit something that doesn't have to fit as well. So that... Um, that was something nice about this one. I don't have to worry too much about the fit and, you know, my gauge was a hair off and it was okay. <laughs> so that's this. And you're going to see why I like projects like that in a minute because I am having a moment with one of my whips. <laughs> All right, this is the next thing I knit. Now, I know this isn't a masterpiece, but this is a toy I knit for my son for his sixth birthday. I didn't show you guys the train, but I, I can bring that out one of these days. It's already been manhandled so much by my son in a month and a half that my other son, that it's almost not worth showing because it already needs to be repaired. <laughs> but this is a ninja that I knit for um, for my son Tucker for his sixth birthday. And he chose all the yarns. Green is his favorite color. We ran out of green and then he wanted red legs that he chose from my stash. So it's exactly what he wanted. He didn't want any um, backpack or, or weapons or anything. I wrote his name on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he loves it and it's been special and I really enjoy knitting toys. I have never knit toys before recently and I really enjoy it. It's fun for the boys to see me work on it. You know, this probably took a couple weeks that I was working on it in between other projects and I think it's good for them to see us working on it and how long these things take and they realize how special it is when they see all the time that goes into making it. So I love I love that he loves it so much. That's been really fun. Okay, so this is my last whip, which I told you I would be casting on in the last video. And I am having a dilemma with it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, all ideas, welcome. Let me know what you think. It'll be interesting to see how it looks on the screen, actually. This is the bouquet sweater by Junko Okamoto. I believe that is her name. So I have just split for the sleeves and the body. And you can probably tell there is a main color dye lot issue that I did not notice until about four inches in. So it's right here, hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure you can see it. It's very slight, but it's very painful because each round of the sweater is taking me about um, 20 minutes. I got it down to 20 minutes, maybe 15. It was, it was pretty intense. For a while there. Um, it's a really hard sweater. So what makes it so hard is that you're carrying your contrast color for huge sections. And you can see my sweater puckering here. That's going to block out. I did a test and blocked here to see if it would block out, but it's very time consuming. So in the beginning, I was just carrying the the contrast color on the back side, and then my friend Jackie, who is part of Caddy Jack's Knit, she has a YouTube channel too. She told me about this other technique where you create a, well, you guys can see this, you create a hidden stitch. So these are like the hidden stitches, and it's almost like a separate fabric here with my contrast color. So I started to do that, and that was a game changer in terms of speed and puckering. So you can see this is, it's like this whole fabric in here. Okay. Can you see that? It looks a little crazy because at the same time, I'm doing the color work the normal way with this new technique and I switched on the inside. So my guts and my sweater don't look that good. Um, but it's pretty noticeable when I look, when I see it on the video right now. Um, and I'm just not sure what to do. I don't know how much it bothers me. The other big problem with this sweater, so 
We've got many. My row gauge is off, so the armhole is hitting, you can probably tell, it's hitting pretty low. The fit on this sweater, sweater is a little funky. It's one size. A lot of Ravelry comments have been that this is a, a funky fitting sweater. But my problem is I only bought one of the contrast color skeins. So it calls for 95 grams. I got 100 grams. And I think when I switch to this hidden stitch technique, I, I'm using more of that contrast color and I have very little left, maybe three yards left. And I've just finished chart one and there are two more charts. I don't want this sweater to be really big, but I would like to, I was thinking I would do chart two. So I have two major problems for this sweater. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. If you have a feeling about the main color issue, let me know what you think. A lot of people on Instagram say it adds to the design. I, for me, I, I just don't know if I have it in me to redo it because it's taken me so long and I still like it but I wonder if it's still gonna bother me, if it's gonna bother me. If I unwind, I am most definitely taking a break from this. So I will be taking a break and coming back to it later because it's very time consuming and I like to bang out sweaters pretty quickly. So this is, it's just been tough. I do love it though. I really do love it. Um, and it's been really fun to learn that new technique and challenge myself with something hard. This is definitely the hardest thing I've ever knit. So, so yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to try it on later and just show you how the fit is. Cause I think that'll be interesting for people to see that potentially want to knit this. So, um, yeah, so let me know. Okay. So I'm going to dive into some things that are new here at Knit Collage. And I just want to show you, um, this involves my knits and what I will be knitting in the future. And then I have one more whip to show you that I plan to start. Last video I shared, I think I shared two or three whips that I want to start. And one was the Diaphanous Raglan by Jessie Maid Design. I have the yarn for that. I showed that last time. The other is the Nightingale Cable Sweater by Nora Gone. I want to start that as well. The Nightingale is really hard. And considering I just did the bouquet, I want to take a break from that really hard right now and do something more along these lines. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick with a little bit more easy knitting before I challenge myself again with something, um, really difficult, but I for sure will do that because I have the yarn and I'm really excited about that pattern. Okay. So I want to show you this sweater, which I believe I showed you last time. It's my fisherman rib sweater that I knit and designed from stash. It's it's really easy body. It's just like this. It's kind of floppy. And I designed using all stash yarn. It's two strands of fingering with a strand of mohair. And you just stripe however you want to stripe. It's really boxy. So for this sweater, I am going to try it in our new boucle yarn. So I really want to show you this yarn. This is it all caked up. I'm going to do a stripe. Hopefully you can see it. This boucle yarn is called Serenity. I'm going to be releasing it the first week of July. So hopefully you will give it a try with me. I don't have a ton of things knit up on it. I've been so busy with this knit along that is wrapping up pretty soon that I just haven't gotten to knitting enough with it. But that is changing and I am so, so, so excited. This is a machine made yarn. So this is a new thing for us. And what I really love, it's wool nylon. What I really, really love is the brushed aspect to it. So I think it looks like a, almost like a brushed sheepskin. Um, it looks really worn in or like a Sherpa, you know, like an old, an old fleece or Patagonia fleece, something like that. So I really like it. So I'm planning to stripe a bunch of colors. So, um, this is Gigi Orange for Gay Glaspie. Um, I'm sure a lot of people know her. So I did an orange, which I'm, I'm really into. I'm excited about that and I hope she knits with it. <laughs> and this is this sunshine yellow. I love yellow and mustard, obviously. So I'm gonna be striping all these colors into this sweater. Um, and I'm not sure if the pattern's gonna work exactly as I wrote it for this, 
but I'm going to try and I'm excited about it. So it should be a lot of fun. Okay. So the next couple of yarns I want to show you are just new for fall. I got the sales samples in and I just want to show you them. Oh, before I do that, forgot. I have a new project bag. So we have never done a project bag at Knit Collage before. And this is our first project bag. So I um, designed this on my last trip to India in February. If you're familiar with our yarns, this is our cotton wildflower yarn that we make, we cut from strips of cotton fabric. So we're actually using the fabric here to make a patchwork motif. And these are my favorite embellished ribbons from India. I love these. And then you have a little knit collage label on the back. Sorry for my nails, everybody. <laughs> a little braided dry drawstring. So these are going to be $22. I have very few because I'm a little nervous to do something besides yarn. So if you're interested, head on over to the site under Notions tab. That's where you're going to find them. I'm really excited about that. And I just wanted to show you a couple new colors of spun cloud yarn. So this is a new color for fall. I forget the name off the top of my head, but I really love purple. People, you can tell I really love purple right now. And I really love mint. Do you remember that other cardigan I knit in mint? Oh my God. So this, oh my God, I love it so much. This is our, our spun cloud yarn that we've had for a while in new colors. And I really love this color. This is like a chambray. Oh my God, I love this. And then this is kind of like a denim -y color. I love this, like really subtle sparkle. It's plied with two strands of Lorax, one gold, one silver, and they're just very, very subtle. So I love, freaking love those. Okay, so I have a couple more skeins of Daisy Chain and I'm probably gonna be, probably gonna be knitting a hat out of this very shortly. Um, we have a cute free hat pattern in Daisy Chain. So check out Neon Daisy Chain. Oh my God, it makes me so happy. So, so happy. So we've got pink fiber in the house, which is fantastic because I've never had neon pink fiber. <laughs> so it makes me really happy. This is the mustard colorway. I use this in my Daisy pillow, actually. Um, so these are all new for... Daisy chain and all of these new yards aren't going to be in until August, August 3rd, about August 3rd. So can't get them yet. I just thought it'd be fun to show you. I really like purple, really like purple. So Daisy chain was due for a color um, upgrade. So these are the new ones and I don't know all the color names off the top of my head, but they'll be there in fall. So yeah, I'm really excited about those. I have one Dreamland color combo. This is it. So Dreamland has all these things spun into it. And I love the way these flowers came out. You see that? So this is just so, so pretty. I used this in a sweater I knit for free people recently and it looked really cool. So I love that. Okay, so those are all the new yarns for fall. The other thing we have coming in is new mini skein sampler kits. So I'll show you those in the next video. I don't have those yet. So we have a lot of newness. We have the project bags. Those are, those are available now. They came with our sales sample yarn. Boucle is going live the first week of July. A lot of patterns are gonna work for this. So it's like a, it's a heavy worsted. So a lot of existing patterns are gonna work for this yarn if you feel like trying it. And then in August, we've got all of fall. So I'm really excited. So I've got my boucle whip. This is my whip. And then I want to tell you about my next whip, which is in this amazing cake yarn. My friend Alyssa dyed. It is mohair. Probably won't be wearing it in summer, but I love it. And I'm going to knit cardigan number three by my favorite, my favorite things knitwear. So this is a cardigan that's been in my queue and my heart's on Ravelry for a long time. I may stripe in some stash. Someone in our knit along community has knit this stash version. It has this amazing puff sleeve. So I may do that. I have a fair amount of mohair stash where I could stripe it in, but how, 
I mean, how beautiful. If you don't know about Kate Bolko, so, so pretty. All right, so that is it for this week. If you feel up for joining me in that daisy chain class, I encourage you to join me and thank you so very much for tuning in. I would love to know any thoughts, like just let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you like, what you don't like, what you think about that bouquet sweater, (laughs) Um, all the things. All right, thank you so much, bye-bye.